everyone, today you will hear an interesting story. Jessica walked leisurely through the supermarket, pushing a cart in front of her, already half full of convenience foods and fresh fruit. She was a housewife. She lived with her husband and daughter in a small town. There was little prospect there and her husband. Eric, a construction worker, often had to travel to other cities to earn money to provide his family with a decent standard of living. Jessica's main occupation was keeping the house clean and tidy, and she also managed the small vegetable garden plot near the house. Every day was like another. She sent her daughter to school in the morning, then the house, the garden, cooking, and then the housework again. Sometimes she even got bored of it. She wanted something new, somehow to diversify her life. The monotony of everyday life drove her crazy. One day, during another visit to the supermarket, Jessica was so thoughtful about her boring existence that she did not notice how she ran the cart into a young man, who in turn was also engrossed in a conversation on the phone and did not see the moving cart with products to him. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Jessica immediately started apologizing. That's okay. It was my own fault. He smiled and hurried to put the phone away. He looked at her and didn't hurry to look away. For her age, Jessica was a pretty and slender enough woman. The beauty of her Balzation age could win many more men's hearts. My name is Zach, the guy introduced himself and held out his hand to her. Jessica, she shook it back. That's Kate Bertie. I'm really sorry about what happened. Are you okay? Are you really okay? I'm fine. You don't have to worry. I should have watched where I was going myself. Still, I'd like to make it up to you. Can I buy you a cup of coffee? What do you say to that? You know what? I like that very much. I'd love to spend time with such a charming girl. After loading the groceries into the trunk, they decided to continue their conversation in the cozy cafe across the street. Jessica and Zach talked a little bit about each other, and before they knew it, an hour and a half had passed. She had to pick up her daughter from school. It was nice talking to you. Zach just did not want to say goodbye to her new friend. Maybe we could see each other again, he said hopefully. Okay, so it messes me. I would like to see you again, but I have to leave today. Let's meet tomorrow, same time, same place. It was settled then, and the next meeting certainly wasn't their last. Innocent conversations over coffee soon developed into a deeper relationship. Zach was very loving and caring. Jessica liked to feel wanted and loved. She did not get as much attention from her husband as she would have liked. She and Zach had begun dating. Jessica hid their affair. They had dates at his house or a hotel, sometimes at her house when her daughter was still in school. Everything seemed perfect, but her conscience was growing more and more acute every day. Ever she realized that she was betraying the husband who had taken care of her all these years, betraying the daughter who she thought had guessed her mother's double life. Mom Zach stopped by sewer at your sister's. He said he couldn't reach you and that he couldn't meet you tonight. At your house, what did he mean by that? The daughter looked at her mother reproachfully. Yes, Jessica was a little confused at first. I decided to start a yoga class. Zach's my trainer. We were supposed to have a class today. She rushed to reassure her daughter. Personal trainer. Tell Modern. Lena was already in her teens, and it wasn't that easy to fool her. Yes. Why wouldn't it be? Jessica played innocent. Dad called too. Said he'd be here this weekend. I miss him. She sat down on her mother's couch and hugged her. S honey. I miss him too. Jessica stroked her daughter. She'd been thinking all evening about what had been going on lately. She had thoughts of been preoccupied with Eric, with Zach, with her daughter. She wanted to keep seeing Zach, but she knew that sooner or later her secret would be out, and the consequences could be very unpleasant for her. She had never worked anywhere. All her life her husband had taken care of her. And Zach, what could he give her but affection and tender words? He was still very young himself, and not ready to start and maintain a family. It was on the eve of her husband's arrival. Jessica decided to talk to her lover. She decided to end their relationship after all. Look, say, I'm having a really good time with you. She started. Yeah, I've been listening to you. He put his arm around her shoulders and kissed the corner of her mouth. We have to break up. Jessica let out a sigh of relief. It seemed like the hardest part was over. But why? Next episodes of We're So Good Together. The boy wondered. Yeah, I've never felt this way before. You're very sweet. I'll never forget you. But I have a family, and you have your whole life ahead of you. Jessica, take your time. Can we just take a break? I love you so much. I don't want to lose you. 
he tried to convince his beloved not to jump to conclusions and hope that she would change her mind and the relationship. And the relationship would continue as before. I'm fine with you too. She looked guiltily into his eyes, but this is a mistake. I can't leave my family. Please understand me, Zack began to kiss her, telling her to think about it, honey, think about it. Everything was going so well. No, Jessica pushed him away, pulling away from his embrace. I can't, we have to stop. It's better for both of us. Jessica left the meeting with Zack, leaving him alone with himself. And his thoughts, Zack knew there was some truth in what she said he loved her and did not want to hurt her. The next day, Eric arrived as promised from the threshold. He rushed to hug his beloved women, his wife and daughter, who jumped on him with reciprocal hugs, Dad. I'm so glad you're back. You were gone so long. This time, daughter wrinkled her nose. Don't leave us for so long again. Come on, honey. I missed you so much myself. And you've grown up Arab. I'm so happy to see you home again. Jessica said she realized how much she needed him. The three of them stayed together. For half a day, Eric told them how he had worked and what had happened to him. And his team, Lena, listened intently and occasionally interrupted him with counter questions. You know my mom has decided to do yoga. Lena told him the news. Over dinner, Eric looked at his wife questioningly. Really, you never told me about this. There's nothing to tell. She was embarrassed. Just a few classes to keep my toe note. But it's over now. I'm all yours now. Oh, I think the chicken's ready. Jessica heard a corresponding beep from the kitchen stove and was very happy to change the subject of conversation. After quite a long business trip, Eric got a chance to be home for a little more than a weekend. The couple continued to live together. Jessica tried not to think about Zach and her brief affair with him. Although she sometimes dreamed of romantic encounters with him, she put it down to memories of a secret past team one day. When she and her husband were visiting the supermarket, Jessica saw an acquaintance of hers at the other end of the aisle. He saw her too for a moment, their gazes met, and it was as if they were mentally greeting each other. If Jessica hugged Eric tighter under his arm, making it clear to Zack that they should not approach each other, Zack lowered his eyes sadly, he was disappointed. But in spite of his desire to approach his beloved, he went the other way, now everything seemed to be going their way. Jessica was giving her attention to her husband and daughter, she was a caring to his wife and mother. She wanted things to be like they used to be. But one day on the street, she ran into Zia again. She was parking her car when he approached. Hi, it's so good to see you again, Zach. We don't need to see each other. I told you, Jessica answered excitedly, realizing that the old feelings were starting to come back to her. She wanted to leave just as she had planned to, but Zach stopped her, abruptly grabbed her by the shoulders, and kissed her so hard that Jessica couldn't help but respond to him. Bittery and blurred in the rush of feelings, no, Zach, you don't have to. She tried desperately not to be tempted again. This isn't right. He asked, begged he asked. I know he kissed her again. She could feel her heart beating in unison with his... But she knew that renewing her relationship with Zack was wrong. She was torn between her feelings and her responsibility to her husband and daughter suppressing her inner struggle. Jessica was able to break free from Zack's embrace and quickly leave Zack, began writing her occasionally. But she ignored his messages. Jessica wanted to forget everything it wasn't until after a few weeks that she couldn't stand it and started seeing Zack in secret again. Only now their meetings were much less frequent. It was another weekend when Eric was home with his family. After his trips on those evenings, Jessica would cook her own special dishes to tamper the family. And they all ate dinner together as usual with conversation. Just this has never tasted better, her husband commented as he chewed a piece of meat from the dish. Thank you. I know what your tastes are, and I like to spoil you once in a while. She smiled. How are you doing at work, Jessica? Asked, turning to her husband. Everything is going well. We have finished some big projects, and we're getting ready for some new ones, Eric answered. When are you going back to work, Jessica? Asked. I don't know. Yet I'll stay at home for a while. I'm waiting for new orders, her husband answered. In the meantime, why don't we all go somewhere together like a picnic? What do you say, girls? He suggested. Great, Lana clapped her hands. I like the idea, she answered, though something inside her squeezed at the thought that it might disrupt her planned meeting with Zach. How about next weekend? Jessica asked, great, next Saturday is fine. Her husband agreed Jessica could not contain her guilt. She looked at her husband and daughter and realized that she was hiding her cheating from them. But she decided not to think about it now and tried to enjoy the family vacation. Eric didn't notice Jessica's cheating and all seemed well until one day. One day he saw her leave her phone with a message that popped up on the lock screen. He managed to read the guy's electronic love note. 
Eric swiped the screen and read her correspondence with Zach. He was shocked and disappointed in his wife. He couldn't understand how she could cheat on him after all the years together. At that moment, Jessica walked into the room. She saw the phone in her husband's hands and froze in place. Everything inside her grew cold at the thought that Eric had found out her terrible secret. Eric, hearing a rustle, turned his head toward the door. Just what is it? He continued to hold the phone in his hands. And, Eric, I can explain. It's not what you think. Her voice trembled visibly. She felt her legs shake, her heart beating so fast that she thought it was going to burst out of her chest. Everything around her went dark. She could already hear Eric's voice as a hazy echo. She tried to grasp the door jam with her hand, trying to grab onto it to keep up, but her hand slipped past and Jessica collapsed to the floor with a thud. When she opened her eyes, she found herself lying on the couch. Sitting next to her was Lana. Seeing her mother awake, she moved closer to her. How are you feeling? She asked. Mary? Since what happened? Jessica hadn't quite come to her senses yet. You fell and you fainted. Ami. Lana took her hand in hers and squeezed it. Dad said he saw some messages on your phone and decided to check. He found out you were dating Zach. Lena was old enough to know what was going on. And of course, she noticed that her mother wasn't going to her friend's house to drink tea. And it was upsetting that her family was falling apart. Jessica closed her eyes and tried to remember what had happened. She felt a pain in her head as she remembered how she had fallen to the floor. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Lena. I don't know how, how it happened, but I never meant to hurt you or daddy, she said, covering her eyes with her hand. A tear rolled down her cheek, sealing pain in her body after the fall. Jessica got up and sat down. Where is he? She glanced around the room. Used to not seeing her husband's presence, she felt a sense of intense excitement again. He will be back later, or she gets some rest. Lena was about to leave, but slowed down and turned back to her mother. Mom, you're getting a divorce, aren't you? There was a look of disappointment, resentment, and sadness in her eyes. I don't know, she answered honestly. But deep down in her heart, she hoped that things were not as sad as she thought at the moment. In her mind, she scolded herself for the mistake she had made. She didn't know what to say to her husband when she saw him again. Saw him again, yes, there was no excuse for her actions. But it was too late to change anything Jessica spent the evening alone with her thoughts. Her daughter had locked herself in her room. She was resentful of her mother and she needed time for the pain to subside. A little Eric returned late that night. He was drunk, but Jessica didn't say anything against it. She understood the reason he entered the room silently, walked past his wife and sat down in the chair across from her Eric looked at her from under his forehead then wiped his face with his hand and leaned back in his chair continuing to stare at the woman who had betrayed him jessica's lips began to quiver and she tried to say something but a bum stuck in her throat and she could only sob with trembling hands she reached for her husband eric finally burst out of her mouth i'm sorry please forgive me i'm so sorry her sobs were filling the room you know what jess eric got up from his chair went to the bar took out a decanter of whiskey and after holding it in his hand poured himself a glass but he didn't drink it yet he turned and went back to his seat with it sitting down on the soft cushion of the seat i knew you cheated on me he continued to i'm the alcoholic beverage in his hand i knew about you and zach when you cheated with him the first time jessica was taken aback by what she heard what was all she could say yes jess I knew Lana told me she's not stupid, and she understood. And then I talked to Zach. I was glad you came to your senses and decided to break up with him. And I even forgave you, I realized. It was because you were lonely I was ready to forget everything Eric took the first sip of alcohol. From the glass waited for the taste to spread throughout his mouth and then continued. But you, you haven't been humble, you? Not only betrayed me. But you also betrayed your daughter Jessica, looked at him in tears, and didn't know what to say. I've been thinking for a long time. Just, I wanted to leave everything and leave you. But I can't leave my daughter. You know how much I love her. And that's why I decided not to get a divorce, not yet at least until she's old enough to go off to college. Jessica was a little relieved, and she had a tiny hope of making things right. But my trust, Jessica, you have lost forever. I'll never forgive you for betraying me. You will feel no more tenderness or care from me. I will live in my own room. And if you start a love relationship again, I won't be as kind as I am now. These words stabbed her like a poison knife through her heart. Jessica realized she'd lost her happiness, dear listeners. Your support is very, your support is very important to us. If you like our story, please like, comment, and subscribe.
It's very motivating for us. We need your feedback to improve our content. 